What's up guys, it's me Packy with the house and today I got a all new ball video. This one's gonna be the Radical Trailblazer. This is one of Mo Pinnell's very last bowling balls that he was involved in. So a special piece to the Radical brand and I think this one's gonna be an absolute beast on the North Rock house shot. I've already tested it down in Wichita State compared it to some of the other new Brunswick releases but now it's time for me to test this out where I think it's really gonna be useful in my bag which is on the house shot. Uh, but before I get too much into where I'm gonna use it, what bag it fits in, I am going to, uh, I'm going to have to head to North Rock and test this puppy out. So uh, let's head there and I will uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. So my warm-up's all over. There's, I don't know what's wrong with lane 27, but it feels like there's about 30 games bowled on it. So there's a lot of early hook, a lot of hook in the middle of the lane. So I'm gonna have to move a couple left, I feel. I'm gonna throw it as hard as I can. So about 15 miles an hour still. I'm gonna try and rotate it with my hand, get it through the fronts. Uh, you know, just like what I've been practicing the last couple weeks to create some of that push through the front part of the lane because right now it feels like there's no oil in the front part of the lane. So I'm gonna use some of my tricks to create some better ball reaction on the lane uh, because there's been six days of leftover bowling. But at the end of the video, I'm gonna decide whether it goes in my house shot bag or my tournament bag. And the one bag that I know it's gonna be in is our sponsor of the day, the all new Magnum Bowling Products Immortalizer. For those of you who don't know about the Immortalizer, it is a really cool piece of technology. It is a dual layer vapor barrier enclosure for your bowling ball where you can store your favorite bowling balls in here and maintain that factory fresh performance. So for those of you who have gotten a ball drilled fresh off the press, gone and bowled three games with it and loved the way that that ball performed as is, it's gonna help stretch out that performance of that ball for many, many months to come. And not only is it gonna stretch out the performance, it's also gonna reduce the chance of cracking. And I know almost all of us who have been bowling for a long period of time have actually pulled a bag a ball out of your bag ready to bowl and it just has a huge crack right around the middle. These bags are actually going to help reduce that drastically. So for all of you who have a couple really, really good bowling balls in your lineup that you want to keep safe and you want to keep that performance on, you're going to have to go on magnumbowlingproducts.com down below, link in description, and check out all the different colors that they have. And if you want to check out some more tech talk and what their bags really do, an in-depth discussion, you can click on their link above here on the YouTube channel. They make plenty of videos about the performance benefits of using these bags. So check them out up there on the YouTube channel, down below in the description, and I will, uh, I'll catch you guys in frame four when we talk about this Trailblazer and give a frame four update. So my frame four update, front four, it's going well. My ball still isn't quite making the right shape. I'm gonna try and make sure I get my hand around it. I have a feeling I'm gonna be fighting some pin carry later in the game because I've already finished the game and I know how it ends up. So I'm hoping for like a 220 plus. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but don't forget, if you're, if you're already here, I mean, now's the time. You might as well hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, follow along the channel for more videos like this one. But I'll catch you guys back in frame eight for another update and uh, hopefully 
we got four more strikes and we got the front eight. Well, I was hoping for four more strikes and I only got one. So I still got 240 out there because the strikes, the, the misses are in the right places. That being said, I definitely need to throw better shots than the last one and I need to catch better breaks than the first one. I've looked at that maybe like the 710 messenger hit. Yeah. I've looked at that one like three or four times. I'm, I'm not sure if it's a bad break or a good break. So you let me know down below in the comments what you think that 710 hit is, a good break or a bad break. But either way, got 247 left. I gotta get them all, so I gotta get a back four here. And then I will, uh, I'll catch you guys at the end of the game for my overall update and let you guys know how I think that ball rolled and uh, how, how I think I'm gonna use it in my lineup. All right, so that was it with the Radical Trailblazer 247, so a pretty good game. Um, fought some pink hair in the middle before I made the right moves. I uh, just had to move a little to the right, make sure I got my hand around it enough, that way it would come around the corner and not leave me those seven pins or a 10 pin or you know whatever I was leaving. I'm now gonna compare it to the DV8 Hellraiser Return and the Strata Hybrid. I chose those two balls because they're both in the same category. They're both hybrid, they're both asymmetric, so they should fit around the same slot in my bag. You know, I might bring the Trailblazer and the Strata or a Hellraiser and a Strata hybrid. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna throw some shots from the same area. I'm gonna throw two shots from the same spot I threw the Trailblazer, and then I'm gonna move five and I'll throw all of them two shots from there. So let's, uh, let's see what they do, and I'll catch you guys after for a brief little recap and then we will uh, we'll call it good. All right, so for the three balls, obviously the Trailblazer you guys could kind of see is that in between. It hooks a little earlier than that Strata Hybrid, which really gets down lane and makes a stronger motion to the right, almost on the edge of being like a Pearl ASIM. That Hellraiser Return you see hooks pretty early, 
Uh, makes a very smooth shape on the lane, uh, even smoother and earlier than the Trailblazer. So the Trailblazer is kind of that in-between. I only had two spots in my bag because obviously I'm not going to bring like six ASIM hybrids with me to a tournament. Uh, I would say I'd probably bring the Trailblazer and the Strategist because that Hellraiser return is I'd rather just bring a solid ball in that spot. So I, you know, I love the way the Trailblazer looks on the lane. I love the way the Strader looks on the lane. And I actually do think, even though they're both hybrid, I think they complement each other pretty nice. That's my ball review for the Radical Trailblazer. And thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking along. And I will, uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs> Don't even look at me.